Hang in there, because doing just that, for 3 minutes a day, can transform your body and health in ways you'd never imagine. Welcome to the world of dead hangs, a simple yet powerful exercise that targets your upper body muscles. What's great about dead hangs is their accessibility. You can do them virtually anywhere, all you need is a stable object to hang from. But it's not just about bulking up those biceps. Dead hangs are a full package deal, capable of improving your overall health, posture, flexibility and even digestion. Picture this, you're hanging there, your muscles are working, and your body is reaping a multitude of benefits. It's like a magic potion, but instead of drinking it, you're hanging from it. Sounds too good to be true? Keep hanging out with us to find out just how these amazing transformations happen. No, it's not magic, it's all about how your body works. The dead hang exercise, while seemingly simple, is a powerhouse of a workout that gives your body a full range of benefits. Let's dive into the mechanics of it. When you suspend yourself from a bar, with arms fully extended, the weight of your body comes into play. This is where the magic begins. The weight of your body pulls downwards, engaging a variety of muscle groups in your upper body. We're talking about your forearms, your biceps, your triceps, your shoulders, and even your back muscles. All of these get a workout, leading to increased strength, but that's not all. As your muscles work to keep you hanging, they're also stretching out. This leads to improved flexibility. Your muscles become more limber, more capable of stretching and bending. This is a huge plus, especially for those of us who may not be as young as we once were. Now let's move down the body a bit, to the spine. You see, the weight of your body pulling downwards also has an impact on your spinal alignment. The force can help to decompress the spine, stretching out any compressed vertebrae. This can lead to improved posture, helping you stand taller and straighter. It's like getting a mini chiropractic adjustment every day. And let's not forget about the core. While it may not seem like a core workout, the dead hang does engage your abdominal muscles. As you hang, your core works to stabilize your body, preventing you from swinging back and forth. So yes, a simple hang can even contribute to a stronger, more defined abdomen. In short, the dead hang is not just a test of endurance. It's a full body workout that targets multiple muscle groups, improves flexibility, corrects posture, and even strengthens the core. Every minute you hang, your body is working, changing, and improving. So not only are you getting stronger but you're also standing taller, now that's a win-win. But wait, there's more! Did you know there are two types of hanging? Active and passive. Yes, that's right, don't worry, we're not talking about your social life here. We're still on the subject of dead hangs. First, let's talk about passive hanging. Think of it as the chill cousin in the family of hangs. In a passive hang, you simply suspend yourself from a bar or a stable object with your arms fully extended. It's like you're just hanging out, literally. Your hands are doing the work while the rest of your body gets a well-earned break. This is great for stretching out your muscles, relieving tension in your back, and it's a fantastic way to start if you're new to dead hangs. Now let's turn the heat up a notch and talk about active hanging. This one's the go-getter in the family. In an active hang, you're not just hanging around, you're engaging your back and shoulder muscles. Imagine yourself as a marionette puppet, but instead of strings, you've got your muscles pulling you up. This requires more effort, but the rewards are worth it. You're not just improving your grip strength, but also working on those back, shoulder, and arm muscles. It's like hitting multiple birds with one stone. So, you're probably asking, which one is better? Well, it's like asking which is better, chocolate or vanilla. They both have their unique flavors and benefits. Passive hanging is fantastic for beginners for recovery days or when you just want a good stretch. Active hanging, on the other hand, is excellent for those days when you want a more intense workout. Whether you're passively hanging out or actively swinging into fitness, dead hangs have got you covered. Alright, you're sold on the idea, but how do you incorporate this into your daily routine? The trick to making a dead hang part of your daily routine is to start small. You don't have to hang for three whole minutes right off the bat. Begin with what feels comfortable for you, maybe that's just 30 seconds. Gradually, as your strength and endurance increase, you can add more time to your hang. Remember, it's not a race, it's about improving your strength, flexibility, and overall health. And that takes time. Pay attention to your body. If you feel any discomfort or pain, give yourself a break. Recovery is just as important as the exercise itself. So start small, listen to your body, and gradually increase your hang time. And most importantly, make it a routine. Whether it's first thing in the morning, during a break in your day, or a wind-down activity before bed, find a time that works for you and stick with it. Remember, consistency is key. It's not about how long you hang, but how often. So, 
We've dangled a lot of information in front of you today. Let's quickly recap. We've learned that the dead hang exercise is a simple yet effective way of targeting those often neglected upper body muscles. By suspending oneself from a stable object with arms fully extended you can reap a myriad of benefits. Just 3 minutes a day can lead to improved overall health, better posture, increased flexibility, and even enhanced digestion. That's quite a package deal, wouldn't you agree? But the magic doesn't stop there. We delved into the two main variations of the dead hang, active and passive. The active variation, where you engage your muscles as you hang, is fantastic for building strength. On the other hand, the passive variation, where you completely relax your muscles, is a godsend for those seeking to improve their mobility. It's like the yin and yang of dead hangs, each with its unique benefits. And then, we looked into how to incorporate this exercise into your daily routine. Remember, it's not about going all out from day one. Start with what you're comfortable with and gradually increase your hanging time. Listen to your body and give it the recovery time it needs. It's a marathon, not a sprint. But the best part is that you can do this exercise virtually anywhere, at the gym, at home, or even in the park. All you need is a stable object to hang from. It's as uncomplicated as it gets. If you want sustainable and safe weight loss from exclusive products manufactured in the USA using natural ingredients, please click on the video description. With just 3 minutes a day, you can hang your way to a healthier, stronger body. So what are you waiting for? Start hanging out with us today! Ready to say goodbye to stubborn belly fat? Discover the fun and effective secrets in our latest video guide. Tune in now and start your journey to a trimmer midsection.